Hello and welcome to Drupal Dude. Today I'm going to show you how you can rename the path up here. So instead of node 1, I'd like you to say first post. You know, the name of the article. Same thing with schedule this article. Instead of node 3, it'd be nice if it said schedule this article, the name of the post. Um, pretty easy to do. All you have to do, go into administer and go to modules. One of the modules in here is called Path. It is off by default. You can see it's part of the core here. And I'm going to save configuration. What this allows me to do is go through and rename the path. Now you do have to have clean URLs enabled for this. If you don't have clean URLs enabled, then this won't work. I have a, uh, another post on it. If you go to the, uh, the show notes there, you'll see I'll, I'll have a link to it, um, the, how to enable clean URLs. But you do need to have clean URLs for this to work. So now if I go home and I go to schedule this article and click on edit, in addition to the title and the body and the input format and all that, you'll see I have here URL path. I can actually go here and say, I want this to be schedule this. Now being that this is a URL, you do have to use, you can't use spaces, you'll have to use percent two o or something like that, which I wouldn't do. You know, use dashes or underscore, anything like that. This is going to be the path that you can get to this article by. I'm going to hit submit. And we'll go home here. And you can see up here now it says schedule this article as opposed to node 3. We'll do it again to another one here. We'll go to first post. Up here you see it says node 1. I don't want it to say node 1. So edit it and we'll go to URL path settings and let's see this was the first post. I hit submit. I go home click on first post and you'll see up here it says first post. Now you'll have to go through and when you upload you know, upload or put a new article or whatever you'll have to rename that path every time. There is another module called path auto which I'll have on a uh, later later posting that will do this automatically for you um, so you don't even have to type this in. It works in combination with the path but that'll be on, a, on another one. But for right now, if you wanted to, you could just write from a default installation, no, no third-party modules or anything like that, you can go in there and rename the, um, the paths. Pretty easy. The other thing that you can do with it is if you go to the access control, this is where you set all the access up for different users. I'm going to scroll down here to path. You can say the anonymous people they can create URL aliases or administer which you wouldn't want and authenticated users people that are logged in now if you create a new role for a contributor or an editor you might want to give them the privileges to be able to do that and I ha I'll have a, um, a post on creating roles as well coming up um, where you can set up different roles for different people um, so you could have you know a writer have certain privileges, an editor could have certain privileges, anything like that. Set up a complete workflow if you wanted to. So that's the path module in Drupal. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but uh, very powerful. Makes your URLs you know, very clean. Uh, from my understanding, search engines like this, um, it's, it's, I have all of, all of mine, of course, um, I use the path auto, but all of my sites use this in one way or another. Um, it just makes a better user experience. So that's the path in Drupal, and we'll see you next time on DrupalDude.com.